Welcome to KOEM Presents, a podcast produced by KOEM News Now and the four states' most watched news team. If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named a 2018 CareCheck's number one hospital in market and top 10% hospital in state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Welcome back. Another episode, episode nine, the penultimate episode, second to last. Oh, yeah. is that what that word means? Penultimate, okay. <laughs> second to last. <laughs> We're doing a 10 episode uh, run of this series and uh, it's been fun. Yeah. Today's going to be kind of a little bit of self-reflection, if you will, okay. on our time in the podcast. How are you, you doing? And then you switched to a Dow podcast. Dow, yeah. We're going to talk cool. about kind of teasing that a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited. I mean, they've greenlit us this far, so I yeah. guess we're, we're doing something right. But uh, um, Yeah, I'm okay. I have a migraine today. So I've been, it happens. I've been fighting the nausea and yeah. all that wonderful stuff. I'm pretty used to them, but... They're, they're never fun. Never. Does, so, coffee, does coffee help? Yeah, caffeine. And that's why I like these Americanos because it's, it's like three espresso shots. Yeah. You know, so it's pretty intense. Yeah. So, but yeah, it does help. It helps me. I don't know if it helps other people. I don't know. We'll keep uh, going. First, obviously, we got to thank our sponsors, Freeman Health System, Derailed Commodity, and Grand Lake Casino. And uh, we like to call it the rose and the thorn uh, of podcasting. So, I mean, do you listen to podcasts, you know, obviously outside of our own? I, yeah. Um, I, I, gosh, I always forget the Dax Shepard one. Armchair. Yeah, uh, armchair expert. Yeah. Yeah. That one's pretty good. So I, I do listen <laughs> to that. And then all the, uh, the only other podcasts I listen to are uh, sports. Really? Yeah. So I okay. listen to a ton of Chiefs yeah. podcasts. Um, so they, that, I do that at work a lot. Yeah. I'll sit and work and listen to a podcast. Kind of passively. Have well, you noticed that meteorologists have made this trend, or do you feel like we're kind of we're a little ahead? I think or we're what a little you, ahead. Really? Yeah. Um, now, so there's James Spann. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, he's a legend uh, down in Birmingham. Uh, he has a podcast. It's called Weather Brains. Yeah. So, um, and I've been on that a, a couple times, but he does podcasts with other meteorologists. So, so towards kind of the more scientific Yeah, community. so oh, like okay. it'll be like, you know, let, let's say if Dallas had a tornado outbreak, mm -hmm. he would contact one of the meteorologists there and he'd be like, let's talk about it. Or I was on it uh, last May when I was in Seattle uh, because he wanted to talk 10 years after the Joplin tornado. Mm, so yeah. he's the only other one that I, I mean, he's, he does some, it's, you should listen to it. It's called Weather Brains, <laughs> but it's some serious stuff. So it's pretty cool. That's cool. And what do you like about those as, you know, kind of this is obviously more like casual setting. Yeah. Do you kind of get to nerd out or is it just yeah. get, you get nerd pretty out. lost in the weeds of all of the stuff? Yeah. I mean, because Weather Brains is mainly, um, uh, it's meteorologists and weather enthusiasts mm -hmm. who listen to it. Okay. So, um, yeah. So we just talk about weather stuff. Yeah. So looking back at our own, we're on our ninth episode. What have you kind of learned? Like, what have you liked so far? Um, I think it's been, I think it's been pretty successful. I, I mean, mean I've talked, had fun. Yeah, we've talked about all different events, uh, you know, storm chasing, mm -hmm. uh, our tornadoes. Man, we never even really dug into the too much winter weather. I mean, no, bit, I mean, so. we kind of hit the hind end of it. Yeah. And really that's, you know, the real, I'm gonna say not really complicated because obviously all of it's to some degree, but that's yeah. the one that really can get confusing for a lot of people. But I think, I think it's been good. Yeah, I'm glad you've so. liked it. Uh, yeah. What are some things that uh, you haven't liked? I know we've all been really uh, the busy. Host. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I am new to this, honestly. It's, it's a, whenever <laughs> yeah. they came to us, you know, we were really excited about it, and we're like, okay, but how do we do it? Yeah. You know, like trying to kind of figure out what we're gonna do, how we're gonna say, you know, all no, those I, things. I think it's all been pretty positive. Yeah, and I mean, thankfully, I've seen, I've actually seen some comments on your post. You know, people say, hey, I'm out on a walk listening to the podcast, yeah. which has been great. We appreciate everybody listening to it. I, I'm actually a couple behind. Really, of yeah, the, of the so. post. Yeah, so I, I still need to catch up. Yeah. I think I've listened to six. You got a little catching up yeah, to do. Yeah, I do. 
in terms of like, and you know, we talk about putting out new content and how your job has changed so much. Do you like this shift? I know that might be a loaded question, but like. Oh, you mean like the, the, the shift the just in, that our industry is going into? Yeah, like as far um, as like you have all these tools, because before, like you said, you would just go home. Yeah. And no one really knew until either, you know, the weather hit them or they found yeah. out the next morning. Yeah, I, I mean, I like the shift that we are going on. You know, it, we're so digital heavy now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, it's weird to kind of think where's this. What's a, a TV station anymore? It's not just a TV station, you yeah. know, we're multi multimedia. So yeah, I like the shift. It, I mean, it, what's weird about this part of the industry right now is it's like everybody's trying to figure out what is, what's gonna be the dominant way you're gonna get information mm -hmm. because we, we always know that people like under 40 say they don't watch the news anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah um, but they still get the news and then it's, you know, they're getting it streaming or website or social media. So it's, it's just kind of, it's a weird shift, but that's it's the what, way we're yeah. going. Well, speaking of social media, we're going to take a quick break and we talk back, or when we get back, we're talking about clapbacks. Okay. So you responding to some comments about stuff and yeah. you know, social media and the like. <laughs> so we'll be right back right after this. At Grand Lake Casino, you get more points, more free play and better rewards. Play at the casino where friends play. Grand Lake Casino, Highway 10 north of Grove, Oklahoma. Check them out online at grandlakecasino.com. Spring is the perfect time of year to freshen up your home, whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or want to leave the work to someone else. One of our professionals can help you select some great flooring or furniture to give your house that new home feel. Just imagine coming home to that fresh new carpet smell or melting into a new recliner or sofa after a long day. We'll even help you sleep better with our complete line of mattresses. Open the drapes and let the sunshine in and swing by for big savings at your nearest derailed commodity. Welcome back again. And I forgot before we get into the clapbacks, mm -hmm. I have a question from, okay, from sure. a viewer. So they asked, do the meteorologists share data with one another? And obviously that's kind of a vague question. Yeah. Um, but like, cause I know you guys take rain, you know, obviously like how much yeah. rain, where do you get that data from? And does, is it like shared with other yeah, people? Yeah, so I mean, anybody can get that data. I, I don't, because that question is a little big. Um, I wonder if it's meant toward more of like do would I share with a competing meteorologist Maybe. my idea of yeah. a forecast? Um, you know, I, I talk to a lot of meteorologists that you know, especially when a big storm system is. I'll I'll ask other you know I, I'll, I'll hit up Darby in Northwest Arkansas yeah. or Busby in Kansas City or Ross Jansen in Wichita and you know what are you thinking about this event? So. You know, just kind of bouncing in, ideas off each other. In real time, so say there was a huge system that just went through Wichita, like, would you guys communicate in that way and be like, hey, this is how it actually ended up yeah, developing you know, here? Luckily now, because we have NWS chat, mm -hmm. so National Weather Service, it's, it's a chat forum, you know, so we can get on there and we can, I mean, instantaneous, every time somebody has a storm report, it's okay. right on there, so. And then you know. You're but like, we do. Um, other meteorologists are on it, so yeah, you know, we'll we'll chat back and forth. So yeah, I guess we do. A little we bit. Just do that. it on the chat. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. And then, but as far as like normal, like we got this amount of rain, or the wind was this amount, like that's pretty much just yeah, all it, it's just out scientific there. data. Yeah, and you can, I mean, anytime people want to try to find like archived information, mm -hmm. I always yeah. send them to the National Weather Service site because they they archive everything. So <laughs> well, there you go. Well, thank yeah. you for the question. We only have one episode left, but if you have any more questions, make sure you let us know. So, and then the last bit we want to talk about, I have to pull up my phone, is uh, you were uh, giving some funny comments back in your little, your <laughs> little quips. And I might put it up. Obviously, I'll blur out names and things like that. Um, but someone asking you about, they were confident about this monster producing gorilla hail, as they said, an isolated tornado. Mm -hmm. And you said, I'm not concerned about Armageddon in our area at this point. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> I, when I clap back, I guess, on Facebook, I, I'm real, I usually do it to, I, I have several people who kind of troll me. Yeah. And yeah. I know who they are. So if, if it's one of my trolling people, yeah, I'll clap back pretty hard <laughs> at them because it's like, come on. 
Now, if, if somebody is asking an honest question, mm -hmm. may not have came off the best way, uh, I won't usually clap back because I do know that um, the people on my meteorology page, they, they're like a little army and they come and fight for me. So I, I'm, I'm trying to try to be real strategic on yeah. when I do clap back. But yeah, if, if somebody's kind of trolling me and they're asking dumb questions, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna well, I smack mean, back. After a while, <laughs> you know, someone asking the same question a million times, or maybe they don't know any better. Like yeah. I said, another one. Um, well, real quickly on that first one, because that was uh, from, uh, where, what's the date today? Today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. Thursday what? The, the tw 22nd, okay, so I believe. 21st. Okay. okay, the 21st. So yesterday, um, you know, we got some thunderstorms that went up, but, you know, it was Reed Timmer mm -hmm. the day before who said, I'm going to southeast Kansas, I'm going to chase it, and we're going to have gorilla hail. So then, so Reed has so many followers that uh, then people ask me about it on mine. I'm like, who, who said anything about gorilla hail? <laughs> so, you know, that's where that comes from. Yeah, and then we had another one, again, you just explaining the percentages again which yeah. just cracks me up you guys have to go back and listen to previous episodes and then you know but this brought up the question to me is that do you feel like with social media people ask more questions like did you have someone like is obviously people recognize you i'm sure there's no yeah. way around it like out and about do people ask you que like weather questions in public yeah you know i really? mean they do because it's a good icebreaker that can you know, bring up yeah. the weather, but on social media, I, yeah, I think it's, uh, people ask more questions. I have noticed though that I try to, like, if I do a post, I try to give all the information that somebody's going to want to know, but a lot of people, they don't read what I write. So they just ask a question and the answer's right there, yeah. you know? Um, but also, you know, I mean, just like with kids and all, there's like social bullying, you know? Oh yeah, Because definitely. people can kind of hide behind your computer screen. Mm -hmm. So people are a lot more open to be negative on social media definitely. because, you know, it, it's, it's weird, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I get a lot of messages. Uh, I, mean, I would say just on Facebook, um, like uh, DMs, I'll probably get, I'll probably get 100, 120 a day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I do try to respond to everybody. Um, you'll get to it eventually. Yeah. You're just uh, you're on the long list, you know. <laughs> um, and do you think because you've had the blog going, and I know that's kind of shifted. It, yeah. But you've had the blog going for you know how long now? I don't know. Um, about 15 years. Do you think that like curbed any questions, or are people just asking them regardless, or the questions like? Yeah, I, I think they asked regardless. I started the blog mainly so that I could talk about my long range forecast. Mm -hmm. um, so the blog still has always long range. It's, yeah. it's on the bottom. I don't write it as much as I used to because we've got so many things to do. So that's one thing I usually have Nick do. I just take care of the long range forecasting part on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I mean, so that's kind of changed over the years. And, um, you know, it, there, there's a lot of ways to get information from I mean, KOA, really? for sure. Yeah, I mean, so. we were always trying to, I mean, even with the podcast, just trying to spread our information. Yeah. Speaking of which, you know, we're kind of winding things down here and kind of give a little teaser. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to have a couple standalones while we prepare and get things ready. But as you mentioned, I mean, people listening will kind of get the information first. We'll be doing a podcast series with Dow. The yeah. Dow Quick. See, that'll be good because Dow's been, he's been here almost 42 years. So think about yeah. all the stories he's got in that brain of his. <laughs> and so he has a great memory. Yeah, you guys okay, were talking yeah. in the newsroom the other day and could remember things. I think we mentioned it with a storm chasing episode. And they're like, oh, it was on this day. And I remember, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't yeah. know. You guys cover so much information and you somehow manage to maintain it. Just blows my mind. But I'm really excited. Thankfully, I've been given the opportunity to also host that one. Okay, so they're, um, they're, they're not kicking you no, out? No, haven't kicked me okay. out yet, so I'm excited nice. about that. We're obviously going to do it on same platforms, uh, you know, with video and uh, audio on all of your podcast apps and things like that. And then we have one more episode. Possibly we'll have a special guest. We're okay. not sure. We're going to do a bit of a summary, if okay. you will, of, of your career and KOA cool. as a whole and stuff like that. Sounds like a plan. I'll be here. I'll be here too. Hopefully <laughs> you guys will be here 
And obviously our sponsors will be here, Freeman Health System, Derailed Commodity, Grand Lake Casino. And uh, have yourself a great one, and we'll catch you in the next one. If you're a weekend warrior who likes to go, 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 don't let pain put the brakes on your pace. When you need help with an injury that keeps you from moving, you want an orthopedic team with a proven track record. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is nationally recognized and were recently named a 2018 CareCheck's number one hospital in market and top 10% hospital in state for hip fracture repair. Freeman Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, the experience you need to keep pace with life. Thank you for listening to KOAM Presents. For the latest content in local news, weather, and sports, please go to koamnewsnow.com.